Hello everybody, welcome back to another Christianity video on the channel today. I see no this is gonna be a birthday special video. I'm I'm not recording this on my birthday, but the time this video is released it's gonna be my birthday, so happy birthday, happy seventeenth birthday to me. So yeah. So, uh, today's uh, video is gonna be all my favorite verses into one video. So yeah, let's get right into it. We're going to start off with my first favorite verse, which is in the Old Testament. So let's get into it. We are foreigners and strangers in your sight, as we were all our, as were all our ancestors. Our days on earth is like a shadow without hope. I, every time I see people in darkness, I say this. And what this means is we're in the shadow without God's hope, glory, and grace. But when we say to God, yes, God, I too am a sinner in need of your help, glory, and grace. We will walk in the light forever in, in the, by Jesus Christ and God and them alone. And now the ne my next prayer first I'm going to be talking about is in the book of John. So let's go ahead and turn to the book of John, first chapter, chapter 3, verse 16. So here we go. It talks about, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What this means is, Whoever believes in Christ shall be saved, and admit that that if they're a sinner, in need of God's help, they will be walked by Jesus in God's side. And the next verse I'm gonna be talking about it's John three verse thirty six. So let's turn to the next page. All right, it talks about whoever believes in the Son has eternal life but whoever rejects the son will not see life for God's wrath remains on them what that is basically asking is where were you spending eternity were you spending your eternity in hell were you spending your eternity in heaven or will you not have eternity at all that's the question for that. And my next favorite verse, it's in Philippians 4.13. So let's go ahead and turn to that one. <laughs> it talks about how I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is a, another important one because God gives us strength through our good and bad times, through our stressful and when the burden is on a shorter time, when, uh, when we're not relaxed or anything, God, Christ. We can do all things through Christ and Him alone. So that's all my favorite verses in one video. So let's go ahead and pray. And let's say thank you God for letting me live another year. Because most people take this for granted. I don't want to say God that I don't take this for granted. I say God thank you. God for everything that you do. I thank God for my family. I thank God for my friends. I thank God for my best friends. I thank God for all the people in my life after that. I thank God for blessing me, my family, my friends, my best friends, and everybody pointing to my life after that. I thank God for that. I thank God for letting me be 17 years old. Because it's a special day for me. I thank you God for things that you do. 
I thank God for everything that has been made possible. And I like to say, God, please forgive me for my sins, because I too am a sinner and de deeply help if you're with your glory, grace, forgiveness. And please, God, help all those people who are in need of your help as well. I pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. And God bless.